Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my Sephora recommendations for the Sephora savings event going on right now and I'm also going to share with you what's in my shopping cart. So if you'd like to find out more then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So it's that time again. I am super excited to talk to you guys about my recommendations for the Sephora savings event. I don't know why we go so crazy over 20%, but we do. <laughs> just so you know, it's not just Sephora. All sorts of makeup brands are having spring sales. So make sure that you're kind of keeping your eyes open for other brands as well. A lot of department stores have savings events going on right now. So just keep your eyes open. Those of you who follow me know that I took a long break due to medical reasons. And the last video that I actually filmed was a recommendations video for the fall sale. So it seems like I was just here. I just filmed this video. It was the absolute last video on my channel for about four months. I'm going to link a playlist in the description box of my recommendations videos from the past so that you can kind of watch until your heart is content to see a lot of the products that I continue to recommend year after year after year. This time I have narrowed it down to 10 products that are newer in my collection. I'm also going to just kind of throw out and mention a few of my products that I would pick up that are from the Sephora collection because you guys know Sephora collection is 30% off throughout the entire sale. Ulta also has a 20% off coupon code that is a one-time use by the way for anyone between today and the 15th. So if you're not rouge status you may be better off shopping at Ulta and getting the 20% on products that are sold at Ulta. So before I share my recommendations, I want to share with you guys something I learned about the Sephora return policy during the last sale. You're going to want to hear this. So if you're planning to shop the sale, know this, you can return your item and get your money back after you've purchased it during the sale because you've gotten it 20% off or 15% off or whatever. If you need to make a return, you can return it and you'll get back whatever you spent. However, if you want to do an exchange and the sale has ended, you can no longer do an even exchange. So you buy a product, you got it 20% off, you want to go back and exchange it because the color was wrong, the foundation. You go back to exchange it, they will ask you to pay the difference in the price to exchange that product. They won't just let you do an even exchange because the sale is over. That is what was said to me. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? As you're deciding what to purchase during the sale, I would say not to buy things that you're not sure about or you think you may want to return because if you return it after the sale, you can return it and get your money back, but you can't do an even exchange. You will have to pay the difference in the price. So now I'm going to talk about 10 products that I'm loving right now that I would recommend that you guys pick up during this savings event. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation in 415 Medium Deep Cool. This is one of my newest high-end foundations and I actually purchased it during the last savings event and this is the product that I actually tried to exchange because it is the foundation that I'm wearing today you can't see as much of my chest area in today's outfit so it's hard to see that my chest is lighter than the rest of my body like my hands actually match this foundation pretty well but my chest doesn't match it as well I wanted to try another shade I purchased this blind online and this came pretty close so I wanted to do an even exchange but after I tried to do that they would not let me do it that way and I was gonna have to pay the difference so I just decided to keep 415 so all of that being said this is beautiful it has been hyped up it is quite viral this foundation is an allure beauty favorite from 2023 it's got a ton of shades it is clean at sephora it's a long wearing foundation it has a natural finish it's hypoallergenic 
it says it's made with 20 plus skincare ingredients and it's a weightless serum like texture that blurs and smooths for a natural luminous finish that wears all day there's something about this that just feels magnificent on the skin i've lost quite a bit of weight in recent years and i am 50 years old so i'm starting to have more fine lines and wrinkles like if you lose weight you'll see more wrinkles in your skin and things like that and i'm on the hunt for foundations that don't accent those fine lines and wrinkles and this is one that is really really phenomenal i have some foundations that i have loved for years and after i've kind of lost a little bit of weight and gone back to those foundations it's accenting my fine lines in ways that it had not done before. So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Whereas this one right here is where my problem area is. I can see my fine lines, but it is definitely much better than with other foundations. And even though this is a more luminous foundation with the right setting powder and setting spray, it looks fantastic even on my combination skin where I am oily in my t-zone I'm able to wear this all day and have a beautiful makeup look and makeup day I'm gonna have to speed this up but this is my first recommendation if you're looking for a foundation this one is definitely worth the hype it is amazing the second product that I want to recommend is this Givenchy prism libre skin caring concealer I think it has a longer name than that <laughs> probably couldn't fit it on the bottle it's the Givenchy prism libre skin caring 24 hour hydrating plus radiant plus correcting creamy concealer and it has a lot of stars so a lot of people seem to like this concealer. It's so pretty. I purchased mine in the shade N312. I purchased it blind. I couldn't like swatch it in store. And it is a little bright, but it does work for me. But if you're using me as a shade reference, if you don't want a super bright concealer, then you may want to go like maybe one shade deeper than this. It's the concealer that I'm wearing today. I get good coverage, but it is natural. It's very beautiful. It doesn't crease. It looks really smooth under the eye and I feel like it looks very skin-like and creamy. It is very comfortable to use. It's not dry. It's a very creamy formula. It's a more radiant concealer, but if you set it with a powder, you're going to get a perfect finish. It is a wonderful concealer if you're looking for a high-end luxury product that you would like to try during the sale. Some of these products are just mid-range luxury products. This is also the time to buy really high-end products because you're getting 20% off. Brand like Tom Ford this might be a good time to pick up your Tom Ford products because they are much more expensive and you can save 20% you'll get a bigger savings just want to point that out however the next product that I want to mention to you is the glow seeker highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills I think I bought this during the fall sale a lot of these products I might have purchased during the fall this is the newest highlighter from Anastasia and it looks like this and I love the packaging. I love the white and the rose gold. This color is right up my alley. I don't have my Anastasia um, Reezy highlighter with me because I still have that highlighter even though it is very old. I still have it. So I can't tell you guys how close it is in color, but I will say this is much closer in color to that highlighter than anything that I've seen them do in recent years. So this highlighter is the highlighter that I'm actually wearing on my... Ooh, guys whoo did you see that <laughs> but this is the highlighter that I'm wearing today this is a highlighter that can be very subtle but can also build up to being much more blingy so as you can tell here to me it can give you that wet glass sort of look it's very smooth on the skin it's not full of glitter particles and chunky glitters which I really don't like in a highlighter I do own some that have more glitter in them I really do prefer when the highlighter is smoother on my skin especially since I am older and I'm gonna have more texture on my skin I don't want to put a lot of chunky glitter on my face that's going to accent that texture so this is a much kind of smoother highlighter and the color to me is a very beautiful color that can look good on various skin tones i just think that they really hit it at the park with this highlighter and i'm happy that they've come to play i don't know that i usually talk that much about mascara because 
it's mascara. <laughs> but I did recently start using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. I love this mascara. I don't know that other people would think that it's all that spectacular of a mascara. I'm a part of the Itty Bitty Lash Committee. One of my uh, YouTube friends always says that, uh, Melissa. <laughs> I need all the help I can get to make my lashes visible. I have this on, but I am wearing lashes. And then I also have it on my bottom lashes. And what I like about this is I'm actually able to use it on my top and bottom lashes without an issue. My lashes are so small that if I have like a fatter wand, it is harder to grab those lower lashes and it's just a chore. It takes forever. It's a chore to put mascara on my lower lashes. But this mascara has been wonderful for top and bottom lashes and it just makes my lashes look a little bit longer than some of the other mascaras that I've used in the past. I just filmed a video on a drugstore foundation from Maybelline and I didn't wear lashes in that video and I was wearing this mascara in that video if you want to see it. Don't judge me because my lashes are so small and I can't help what God gave me. But if you're a person who has longer lashes then this is definitely going to look really pretty on you because it helps my little puny lashes a lot. I definitely recommend this mascara to any of you who are looking for a mascara to try. I want to move on to a hair care product. This is a leave-in conditioner from Pattern. Pattern is the brand by Tracy Ellis Ross, Diana Ross's daughter, and I tried this leave-in conditioner in the yellow bottle and I think this is a limited edition scent and the scent really doesn't matter to me I could use the one in the yellow or this one I don't really remember what the yellow bottle smells like this is a leave-in conditioner it features a limited edition scent an earthy and bright aroma of Palo Santo to enhance your self-care routine. This is Tracy's Holy Grail. It has an award-winning formula that seals in your curls with lasting moisture lotion packed with nutritious oils to combat dryness while also providing a soft hold for curl pattern definition. So you guys know that I have a keratin treatment in my hair. I actually thought that I was going to redo my keratin treatment a couple of weeks ago and I have just been liking the way my hair looks looks so much that I decided not to do the keratin right now. I'm just kind of going with it. And one of the things that I think is really performing well in my hair is this leave-in conditioner. And I just love how fluffy my hair is and how much more kind of body I have. My curls are looser, but they're there. So they're defined, but they're looser. But I just think my hair has just looked better. Today was a shampoo day. I shampooed my hair and I use this when I'm styling my hair along with some other products and this makes a huge difference in the style of my hair. So I will definitely keep buying this. This is my second time purchasing it and I will buy it again and again and again and I just want to recommend it to anyone who wears natural hair and you wear your natural curls. Your hair is going to look amazing, not heavy but not dry. It's just a really good leave-in conditioner to add to your hair care routine. And it is by pattern. So I definitely want to recommend this product. I have already actually made a purchase. And here's why. This is the sixth product that I want to recommend to you guys. This is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Body Butter. This one is in the fragrance Warm Cinnamon. I had to go ahead and make my purchase before I told you guys about this and before the sale like got good and going because this product is actually on sale for $32.50 I think and the original price is $46. This one is limited edition. I guess they're trying to just get rid of their stock. That's what I'm thinking. So they have put this on sale. I hope that they will still bring this back in the future during the holidays. I still hope that this is not the last time we're going to see this scent because I love this and I love this scent more than the original. It just looks like this. It's nice and creamy. This this body butter guys it's just like the original Fenty body butter it's no different in how it feels it's just the smell that I like so much better 
it gives you like the prettiest skin so like your skin is just going to look and feel like butter like it says your skin is going to look and feel like butter it really hydrates my skin i love it you're going to smell like a cinnabon you're going to smell like nice warm cinnamon i got this i think during the fall and fell in love with this body butter so i got one i went back in store bought a second one so i do have a backup and just now during the sale i've already purchased one more if you didn't get a chance to try this scent now will be the time to do it because you're going to get 20 percent off of the sale price it's already on sale and you're going to save 20 percent more but i want to tell you guys like a little combo that I've been doing that smells amazing. So I've been wearing this Butter Drop in Warm Cinnamon. Another thing that I wanna to recommend to you guys is this K. Ali Vanilla 28 Fragrance, and I will pop the notes up on the screen. I will combine this Warm Cinnamon Body Butter with this Vanilla Fragrance. And I actually have one more product that I also layer in but let's talk about the fragrance i wouldn't say that this is super long wearing but for the time that you have this on you're gonna smell amazing you're just gonna smell yummy so it's just a nice yummy vanilla fragrance you're gonna smell luscious and amazing so combining these and layering these two scents is wonderful and then i i throw in a third scent so i'll spray a little bit of this and then i also use the brazilian crush this is by sol de janeiro and you guys have heard of the boom boom cream so this is the mist or the fragrance that goes with that it smells just like the boom boom cream and it just adds a nice additional touch to this fragrance combo that i've been wearing one time a few months ago i was going to visit one of my cousins her child just turned a year old but at that time i think the baby was maybe eight or nine months and i hadn't met the child yet because she lives some distance away from me so i was going to visit her and i knew i would be hugging her i knew i would be holding this baby and i wanted to give this baby every opportunity to love on me and not run for the hills <laughs> <laughs> so i was like okay i'm gonna make sure that i smell nice and yummy i want to smell good but i don't want to have on something that is too much or overpowering so i arrived at her door and i reached to hug her and she's like oh my god you smell amazing <laughs> that was the first thing the first thing that she said to me before she could hardly say hello was you smell amazing and i was wearing these three things I would love for you guys to try out my little fragrance combo and let me know what you think and if you get compliments or people are telling you how yummy you're smelling. <laughs> I do have one product that is an oldie but goodie, but it is something that I have been using more of lately and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Another product that I recommend that you guys think about getting during the sale is the Ambient Radiant Light powder a couple of videos ago i filmed a get ready with me i was testing out one of the hourglass palettes from the previous holiday it was the snake palette that palette has the ambient powder in it and so i just started using it more and more i used it that day and i started using it more and more in that palette and i just find that just like with my lancome it used to be that lancome absolute powder it just gives you the softest radiant addition. It just amps up your makeup, your foundation, just a little bit by adding this powder. So when I went to Sephora's website, they no longer had the large compact of this, but they had a mini, which is probably perfect. You probably don't need one this size. And I'm gonna swatch it here. This is a swatch here and it's not highlighter so i don't know if you're going to be able to really get a good feel for it by me swatching it because it's not a highlighter it is i'm not sure if you're going to get the full picture of this it's like a radiant powder i take a brush like this 
I sweep it all over in this ambient powder and then you just sort of dust it here I know I'm not adding in an additional product right now but you use it like here in the t-zone and all over immediately you may not notice a difference but as your oils begin to come through when you have on your foundation as your oils begin to peep through you'll start to see this sort of radiant finish this sort of subtle glow all over and it looks like you have the juiciest most radiant skin like you just have very healthy skin and a healthy glow and a youthful glow it gives you that and it's just a simple powder it's another step in my makeup routine and so I sometimes move away from it because it's an additional step but every time I go back to it I just will look at the finish of my makeup and I just can't believe it so this one is in the shade radiant light but it does come in several different shades and it has different purposes but this one is the one that I've been using this is something I've actually been using a lot lately and it has really leveled up my makeup looks so if you want to take your makeup look to the next level just by making a subtle change this ambient powder might be a way to do it I have talked about this product before I'm not sure if I've recommended it but I have talked about it this is the La Mer the moisturizing soft cream and this one is actually empty during a sale I bought this and this is quite a pricey moisturizer this one is one ounce and in the past I used to buy it in like the half ounce because it was more affordable and I wanted to take the plunge and buy a full ounce of this so that I could use it for a longer period of time to see if I could really see any benefits and I just felt like the entire time I used this one ounce my skin performed well it was beautiful I felt like I was getting a luxurious experience every time I applied this this particular one is less heavy like they have one that is more rich and how it feels and this is the soft cream so it's a little less heavy than the other one than the original so I felt like this was the best match for my combo skin so I always buy it in the soft cream and I'm not gonna buy it again right now because I recently purchased some moisturizers during I think the Ulta sale a couple of sales ago and I'm using those right now but probably when the fall sale rolls around I'll be ready to buy this again because I love the La Mer products I really wish that I could afford to try all of the La Mer skincare line and I just wanted to recommend this particular one to you also just any La Mer products that you enjoy now would be a good time to try them because it is a very expensive brand the one ounce guys is two hundred dollars just so you know and it is good for plumping it is anti-aging it's good for loss of firmness for dry combo and normal skin uh, good for pores and redness and it is ideal for balance to dry skin to visibly diminish lines and wrinkles so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles dryness loss of firmness and elasticity some of the highlighted ingredients are multi-sized moisture spheres billions of spheres target delivery of the miracle broth with 3d precision so it doesn't really tell you what's in the miracle broth the miracle broth is i think anti-aging and it's supposed to really be a good benefit to our skin they're not gonna tell us their secret <laughs> But I feel like my skin looked really flawless and beautiful during the time that I was using this. And I would love to just never be without it. But that's just unrealistic. I can't pay $200 for a moisturizer like every two months. Not going to do it. <laughs> Before I talk about what's in my cart, let me tell you guys a couple of products that I think you should consider picking up from Sephora collection the best skin ever foundation I always recommend that there is also a concealer I have the best skin ever concealer and I don't use that as much as some of my other concealers but it was also very good I love 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 the micro smooth powder and it's like a powder foundation to me it's like a multitasking powder you can use it as a powder to set your makeup but you can also use it 
as just foundation it's beautiful and it gives you this very like skin like natural finish and whenever i wear that powder foundation i get compliments on it people are like what's on your skin and it's like uh this micro smooth powder that's what i'm wearing and i have purchased it multiple times my best friend turned me on to the sephora collection brow pencil i have enjoyed it so that's another product that you might want to pick up I always recommend brush number 56 and 57. One I think is a foundation brush, but I use it for concealer. It's a little larger and the other one is a smaller concealer brush. But any of the brushes sold by Sephora Collection are fantastic. I have several over here that I've had for years. Not only are they very effective and they work really well, but they hold up over time. They don't even make the style of brush that I own anymore. And I haven't had a reason to buy the new style because my old style is still holding up. Like some cheaper brushes, these are really high quality brushes by the way, but some brushes that I maybe have purchased from cheaper brands, eventually they start to fall apart. Like they start to crack, the handles, you know, start acting up <laughs> and you know, you start having issues with them. But my Sephora collection brushes hold up very, very well. So I always recommend that you check out their brushes during the sale because you're gonna save 30%. 30%. The coconut wipes, these are the like older style bag. I have a few bags of these still left. I think they have changed the packaging, but the makeup remover wipes are really good. I like the coconut, whichever one you want to pick up, but now's a good time to pick those up. The setting spray. I recommend the setting spray because I purchased a couple of them for my daughter and she enjoyed them. I didn't use them myself, but she enjoyed the setting spray. So I just figured I would kind of let you guys know that that's out there. They do have a setting spray that maybe you guys might enjoy. So those are my recommendations for this sale. So now let's talk about what's in my shopping cart or what was in my shopping cart. So I did things differently this time. I decided to go ahead and make my purchase last night. This is the first day of the sale when I'm filming this video. So I may think of some other things that I wanna purchase and buy some additional products. But I went ahead and made my purchase because I wanted to make sure to get this before it possibly sold out. And I didn't want to see things in my cart just start to disappear and be sold out. And that's happened to me before because I'm waiting to film this video. I leave it in the cart. Then my plan is to make decisions about whether I'm gonna buy it later. Before I can buy it, the product is gone and sold out. So this time I was like, it's not gonna happen to me. I'm gonna go ahead and make my purchase and then I'll tell you guys about it. Some products that I have already purchased. And remember, the sale's not over. I might buy some more stuff. One thing I have to go pick up in store because I took it out of my cart last night. I wasn't gonna buy it. And then I thought about it some more today and I thought, you know, I really want this product. I'm going to buy it. And I'm gonna go get it in store so I can get it right now. This is an oldie but goodie product this is the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i purchased mine in the shade 8.5 that was the shade i wore previously so i'm hoping it still works for me i know that we've had tons of foundations come out since luminous silk but there was a time when all of us youtubers were wearing the luminous silk foundation I was wearing it, lots of people were. And as new things come out, you move on. But I used it up, I used to like it, and I kind of wanna see if I still like it. It was one of my favorites for a while. So I decided to buy this foundation and see if it still as good as it was back then. Everything else that I picked up, I had shipped to me. This was the only thing that I'm going to store to get. I bought the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if I'm going to like this palette or not. I have a feeling I am. It seems like even though it's a nude palette, some of the shadows seem to lean cool tone. But then there are a few warm pops of warm colors in there too and neutral. So I'm going to try it and see. The way it's swatched as far as like the videos and the photos that I have seen online, 
the swatches look amazing and it looks like it's right up my alley i'm actually wearing a natasha denona mini right now i haven't worn it in a while and i was like you know what i want to wear that today so <laughs> i have on the mini nude palette so i really do enjoy natasha denona eyeshadows and i've had good success with those palettes and this one i do not have so i decided to pick it up so we'll see if i like it i better like it because if i'm going to return it i got to return it during the sale because otherwise i'm stuck with it <laughs> so i got that and then i also picked up the armani beauty prism glass hydrating lip gloss with squalane in it and the one i picked up is in the shade number two candy halo it's like a pink color and the packaging looked so pretty i think it's a new product and it seemed like it had a lot of stars so far so it seems like a lot of people were into it and i wanted to give it a go so i picked that up i also picked up the fenty jelly oil makeup melting cleanser is basically what it is by fenty skin and i already have this and i'm down to like this little bit amount i really like this as a makeup remover it's on up there with like my Clinique Take the Day off. I think that this Fenty product is just as good as that. And what's better about this is it seems to be more travel friendly. It's in a bottle. You press a button and it squeezes out a certain amount. And it just is easier to access than dipping your hand into the Clinique balm. So I just like the way this cleanser functions and i like going in with this first and then following with a second cleanser so i bought that again i also picked up the sephora collection colorful powder luminizer in glitzy gold i was debating on another shade as well it was a second shade that i was looking at but the glitzy gold seemed like it would fit me better and i think i've heard good things about this highlighter so i picked that up I never got on board with the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Glow Blushes. When they came out, I think they might have come out last year, and I didn't get any. And I had two in my basket, but I put one back, and I picked up the Euphoric shade. It's like a peachy shade that has some highlighter in it. It looks like a kind of glowy peach shade. It sort of reminds me of Orgasm by... NARS. It also reminds me of Luminoso by Milani as far as how it looks online. So I love both of those blushes and I figured I would like this. So I decided to go with this shade over the others and it is an Allure favorite. So I picked that up. I also picked up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops Sun Glow Serum. It's got a glowy tint but I like the fact that it has niacinamide in it when i use niacinamide i feel like i have smoother looking skin so i wanted to give that a try and i think that i heard another influencer talking about it they really bragged about this product so i wanted to give it a try i picked up the pattern by tracy ellis ross um jojoba oil and scalp oil blend I have one of these now It's a hair oil and I'm down to the end of it and I enjoy using it. I actually use it on my hair today and I would like another one. So I got that. I picked up three blushes by Rare Beauty because I couldn't decide, I couldn't narrow down the shades. I wanted all three of these shades and these are new by Selena Gomez and I picked up the shade Joy, which I have in the liquid blush. So I know I'm gonna love that color. I love the liquid one. I picked up the shade Hope and I picked up the shade Happy. They're all beautiful online. And I think I swatched them in store as well recently. I was with my best friend and we were swatching blushes and highlighter, but I believe I swatched a few of the blushes and they are beautiful. So I don't know how they're gonna look on the cheeks, but it looks like it's going to be a winner and the highlighter was a winner so i can only imagine that these blushes are going to be a winner for me i picked up the tatcha the matcha or matcha i don't know how you say it 
Cleanse Daily Clarifying Gel Cleanser. And this cleanser is supposed to be good if you have oily skin. I do have an oily T-zone, so it's supposed to help to keep your oils down. It had a lot of stars. I just saw that lots of people who used it, it's sort of new, I believe, but a lot of people who had tried this cleanser loved it. And I wanted to see if it's any good, especially as we're heading into summer and you get more oily during the summer. I wanted to see if my skin would respond well to this, so I picked up this cleanser. I also picked up the Orbe Mini Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. I have it now in a mini and it's getting to the end. And I love using this heat protectant whenever I straighten my hair. It is the perfect heat protectant. You put it on before you blow dry your hair. I feel like it gives me really silky, shiny hair. And I love it. I love the smell of the Orbe products. And I have really enjoyed that as a heat protectant and I wanted another one. It's quite pricey, like the mini is $28. It's expensive and I didn't want to buy it in the larger size. I bought it in a mini again and saved 20%. So now's the time to buy something like that because it is a little bit more pricey. Wanted to try something else by Orbe. I have their um, holding spray. I didn't talk to you guys about that in the recommendations, but I should have because the holding spray is also really good. Like it's very combable holding spray. It gives you a nice hold, but you can comb it the next day or straighten it the next day without your hair feeling really icky. So I really do like the holding spray or styling spray. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll pop a picture up. But I really like that product. But I wanted to try some more Orbe products. So I purchased the Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Ritual Hair Set. So the set is $115. It has three products in it. It includes the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo, the Repair and Restore Conditioner, and the Gold Lust, Tra the Gold Lust Transformative Mask. It reawakens dry, damaged hair to its glossiest, healthiest prime. You can use it as an indulgent weekly treatment. I'm always looking for new products for my hair that give me my best hair. I feel like my hair is in a really good place and I know that it's the collagen that I'm taking, but it's also me trying some new products here and there and adding in new products to my routine versus just kind of getting stuck in a rut and this is what I do. Sometimes you can make your hair even better or your skin even better by adding something different. You don't want to mess up though, but you know, you'll never know if there's something better out there if you never try something different. So I want to try it. I also picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. I got the color Chocolate Caramel. This is a new kind of bronzer stick. It's a cream bronzing stick. I haven't purchased a Too Faced like complexion product in a while. I used to love that bronzer that smelled like chocolate. <laughs> I need to go back and buy that again, but I used to love that. We've moved on to other things, but this is a new product and I just wanted to see, for one, it doesn't smell like chocolate, <laughs> but I wanted to see if I liked it. So I picked that up. I picked up Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, nothing that special about it. But I find myself alternating between the Givenchy powder and the Laura Mercier and the Huda powder during these sales. During the last sale, guys, I picked up the number four Prism Libre powder. And it's got kind of all these colors in it. And it's actually the powder that I use to set my makeup today. I love the Prism Libre powder. This is the first time I picked up the one with all the colors. But this is like more suited for my medium tan deep skin tone and I used to use the number one because I felt like it was a little more translucent but I'm finding that this is just as translucent so I'm enjoying this but instead of buying that again I thought I would switch it up and go back to the Laura Mercier for this sale so by the time we come around to the fall sale this will probably be empty and I'll switch it up and go back to that or the hood will be empty and I'll switch it up and go back to that but these are like my top kind of three powders that I rotate between I have been hearing a lot about the Natasha high glam brightening and hydrating medium to full coverage crease proof concealer I picked mine up in NY11 I have no idea if that's gonna work for me because I didn't swatch it in store so we're taking a risk I'm hoping my products get here very quickly. They're supposed to be here Wednesday, so hopefully there will be no delay and maybe I will be able to make a return 
if there's anything that shows up that doesn't work for me. But I've heard nothing but good things about that concealer by Natasha Denona. So it's been in my cart for a long time to try. So I picked it up. And the final product that I picked up is the Fenty Hydra Visor Refillable Moisturizer with SPF in it and niacinamide. I love myself some niacinamide, so I got the refill of the SPF Moisturizer by Fenty. I just emptied it maybe a week ago, and I love that SPF. It's very hydrating, and I love how creamy that moisturizer is, and I use it regularly and I just ran out so I decided to pick up the refill. All in all guys, this particular order doesn't include the Armani foundation. I saved $141 but I spent about $600 on that order. I spent $60 on the Arm um, Luminous Silk Foundation. So about $660. That's what I have spent so far. So I kind of think that I don't need to buy anything else. So there we have it. Those are my recommendations and the products that I picked up. And who knows if I'm going to buy more. I hope that I don't because that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So thank you guys for joining me for today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.